Bella. Welcome to Bella Uncinetto. I'm Christina, and I'm so glad that you're here with me today. If you're new, welcome in. If you're returning, welcome back. No matter how long you've been here, I always appreciate your time. Yes, I know, I know, but I'm trying to get things uh, done so that while I'm gone, I have uh, videos for you all to watch. So if you've seen the other video with what I'm about to show in this shirt, you'll know that I recorded it in June. However, I think maybe you'll forgive me once you know what's going on, which will probably be revealed by the time you see this. We'll see. Okay, so um, this is my August Happy Meal Advent um, from Antoinette at Hook and Stitch and Island Style. And Antoinette is the um, creator of the Happy Meal Advent Project. I do have another uh, Happy Meal Advent partner. I have two this year. Uh, one is Christine at Christina's Crochet, and the other one is Antoinette. So since I have been gone for the month of July, I will not have gotten Christine's kit um, or kits to um, show them before I make these videos. So with that, I'm just doing Antoinette's for now. And then when I get back, I will, of course, do another video for Christine's. Okay, I learned my lesson. Sorry for all the rustling. It is in paper. I learned my lesson last time. Not to assume that there's just a couple of things. This is big. It was barely holding it together in that bag. Here's the bag. Yes. Okay. So, oh, wow, there's even more this time. <gasps> See what I'm talking about? Dead gummit. <gasps> no way. Antoinette. It's this first I have pop up, and it's a black cat. What's the shadow of a cat? The outline. But still, I'll take it. I'll take it. What is this one? Mint refresher. Ooh. Awesome. And then this is a crochet project. With a beautiful flower. It's not doing this. I crochet so I don't unravel. I practice, practice stitch craft. Those are both really cute. And this one says, Hook John Crochet. That is super cute. I love those. So I have a whole collection of stickers that I, ideally, I just need to find something that I want to put them on. But I'm so afraid to put them on things like computers or things like that. Because eventually, eventually, I'm going to have to throw those things away. Because computers die at some point. They can't be re remodeled or reconfigured or refurbished or whatever. Because the technology just moves too quickly. And then, like, I have a couple of, of trays that maybe I could put them on. But then I'm like, what if I spill something? What if I scratch it? What if I tear? Like, and then I'll be upset. And I, <laughs> I just need to stick them on something and be done with it. Um, maybe... I don't know, I'll find, maybe I'll do what I did for my daughter. So instead of her sticking stickers all over her furniture and her walls and everything like that, she has a sticker book. Maybe I'll get a sticker book and I'll just put them in there. So I have them all the time. I don't know. What do you do with your stickers? Where do you put them? Let me know. Ooh, what is this? Oh, polychrome flower hanging plant instructions. And it comes with all the yarn. It's the whole shebang. This would be interesting. Um, <laughs> because I'm opening this before I leave. This might be interesting to take with me.
to do and give give to someone. I have someone in mind for this. So I'm not I'm definitely not going to start the project now, although as small it is, as it is, I might be able to. Nope, nope, don't do that to yourself, Christina. Um, but I might take this with me and, and do it um, while I'm away because I have someone in mind for this. Um, awesome. Not super sure about that yarn, though. It doesn't look very friendly. Looks can be deceiving. But you never know. But it does have... I mean, it's got all the yarn. Um, and then there's the pink for the little flowers. So there are little flowers down here. And then there are... I mean, there are even stitch markers in this thing. I mean, they went all out. <laughs> so I am... I'm excited. Um... So yeah, this may be coming with me. You may actually see this. Um, I don't know. But awesome. So um, if you are not part of the Happy Mail Advent uh, crew and you would like to be for next year, please email Antoinette and you get to share your ideas. You get to be a part of the conversation to say, you know, like this year, you know, even if your budget is really small and all you can do, like last year we sent each other crochet squares. Well, my partner sent me knitted squares and I sent her crochet squares. You can add extras if you are able, but you can just, even if you just wanted to do um, postcards or if you're a really good artist and you wanted to say, hey, I'll do drawings and you do... Uh, I don't know, something else that somebody else is good at. Uh, <laughs> I don't want to say squares again, but you could, you could, you could trade drawings for squares. You could trade, like, it's just a way for you to have something that you know that you're going to appreciate and you can give something that you know that person is going to appreciate. And you can also tell Antoinette, I can only do someone in the U.S., right? You can't do somebody worldwide. You can tell her that. Uh, and then she tries her very best to match people up with, um, so like, for example, for me, mine is still considered the U S because it's a military, um, base address. So if someone was to ship something to me from the U S it's still the U S, um, it's the same postal rates. You go to the USPS postal office and you can use the priority boxes. You can use whatever boxes. You mail it just like you would mail it in the U.S. The only difference is for mailing something to me, if you're in the U.S., you have to have a customs form. Um, but it doesn't cost you anything to fill out the little piece of paper. Um, they don't charge for that. So um, that's the only difference is because it is coming to an, an overseas base. Uh, but uh, I can do international and I can also do American. So that's kind of advantageous for me. But... I really strongly encourage you to go, one, check out Antoinette's channel because it's great, and two, because I want you to check out the Happy Mail Advent Project, email her, send her a message and say, hey, I want to know more about this. How do I get involved? How can I participate? Um, because it doesn't have to be big things, right? And you can batch ship. So that's what um, Antoinette does. She sent things to me. She sent me four gifts at a time in little bags as you saw and I did not open them until it was time <laughs> um, but I just I wanted to make sure that I had uh, content for you all so that's the only reason why I opened them you will see I don't yeah so my yarn organization videos when I was organizing my yarn room um, those are gonna air intermittently and <laughs> I got to try to make sure that I schedule them so that my, because I say in the videos, like, look, there's my bags. I didn't open them early, but then I'm going to, I'm opening them early. <laughs> I mean, after that video, but after, before July and August. Anyway, I'll let you guys go. Um, please um, let me know in the comments uh, who you might give something like that. Um, crochet plant too and let me know if you're interested in the happy melt advent project 
And if you don't know how to get in touch with Antoinette, I can definitely help. And as always, be well, be safe, and be the change you wish to see in the world, everyone. Ciao, Bella! Thank you.